Hi, so to add to the collection of videos of how to do things online, um, I volunteered to do some videos on Padlet. So I find Padlet really helpful in CBBM, which is obviously um, a big module, and it lets me answer students' questions without having to deal with them all emailing me the same question and me answering it. So I do all my question and answering on Padlet, which saves me a lot of time. I start from the start. So if you haven't got a Padlet account already, um, if you go to your browser and type in Padlet UK and you come up with this link, click through, um, sign up for free. The university, as far as I'm aware, hasn't signed up for um, business one yet. So we just do it individually. Um, sign up and you can log in through Google. So hopefully, maybe you'll have your university um, email here if you use Google Docs through the university. If not, you can do it the old fashioned way and just sign up um, with your username and details. So if you sign up through that, you should come to this dashboard. So here you can make a Padlet. This is the main thing that you do. Join a Padlet gallery, which um, I haven't used particularly. So to make a Padlet, if you click on the Make a Padlet button, and then there are lots of different types of Padlet walls you can make. Um, you can have a browse through them. Um, the ones that I find particularly useful are the wall one, the grid one, and then if you scroll down, this shelf as well. So just as an example, I'm going to start with the wall one. So I'm going to click on Select. So here it's worth noting that because um, Padlet is obviously a private company, you can only have, I believe, three Padlet walls if you are a new member signing up. If you were using it before they brought in these rules, when it went from unlimited to capped, I think you can have three more than from when they brought that rule in. So we've got make a Padlet wall and it automatically fills it in with a name and a subheading that we don't particularly want. So you can either click, double click on it and it brings up this editing box or you can click on this little cog, sorry, I need to move it down, which is this little settings here. Let me just move this over here. Okay, so the title is obviously what you want your Padlet wall to be called. So perhaps the title of your module or whatever else you're using it for. In this description here, um, I recommend putting in the rules of engagement. So things like, um, please only ask questions for whatever here, please, um, if you're communicating with other students, make sure it's civil, et cetera, et cetera. I also put in here um, things to manage expectations. So I say that this Padlet wall will be checked every 48 hours within the working week. Um, there's lots of little bits you can add. So if you want to add an icon, all terribly professional, you can add an icon. So let's have a caterpillar. Everyone loves a caterpillar. Um, and you just click back to go back to that main modifying menu. Um, this address here is how to share your Padlet wall more widely. We'll come on to that in a little bit. Um, how you want your Padlet wall to appear, so I don't particularly want a skateboard. So if I click on this arrow, I can choose solid colours, gradient, textures or a picture. Um, I quite like things that are quite plain, because I think otherwise it just gets a little bit um, distracting. So something like that. And then again, click the back arrow to get back to the main. Um, modifying page. Um, you can alter the font, the colour scheme, if you are so inclined. I think that the basic one's pretty good. Um, you can choose whether the first posts come in at the top of the page or at the bottom. That's just personal preferences. Um, allowing viewers to comment on posts, you can enable or not enable, obviously, depending on what you want to use your Padlet for. If it's just students asking questions of you, I have this off. Um, reactions again, um, I have that off. Um, this one, I think, is the key button for me to press. Um, obviously, it depends on how you want to run your Padlet wall. 
but that requires approval. So that means that if you're running a session live and you're having a Padlet wall live, then um, people can't just put random questions on and start looking about on your Padlet wall. Everything that they post, you then have to approve before it's seen by everybody else. Um, um, so once you've done all of that, you just press save and all those, say, all those um, modifications will be saved. And then close to come out of it. So if I wanted to add a comment, I can click here and write, oh, she says, um, a comment just there. Um, or you can just double click on the board to write um, another comment. So you might have some like welcome information or anything like that um, there. So that's how you do that. So as I said, there are different types of Padlet wall. So if I go back and get to my dashboard, um, this is a grid view, which looks largely similar. Um, it posts them across the top and it just fills up as you go through. Um, that's popped up as a pop out um, in a new tab. So I can just click on dashboard at the top to get back to it. Um, and the final one I wanted to show you was shelf which I think is quite smart for if you can only have three Padlets and you want to have a Padlet that's sort of like for a module, you can have different themes within your Padlet wall. So you can have set it up as a row for coursework questions, lecture questions, module questions. And if you want to add any more columns, you can click on an add column question and perhaps have another one that's exam questions. And then people can post um, questions underneath. So here's some that I've put in um, with the requiring approval. Um, so to approve it, so this can be seen by everybody else, I can just click approve, or if I want to get rid of it, I can press delete. Um, if I want to get rid of one of these, I can just click it on the dot 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 and press delete. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. Then whistle stop tour, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to share them.